for lovers of triples and strong blondes. A powerful, spicy and sparkling beer. It's beer o'clock and from the Seaf Brewery in Antwerp we have a bottle of their Miss T Lucy coming in at 8% ABV. Now this is a strong blonde. Um, it's fairly new beer as well. Um, I got it from Beer on Web. Flip at Beer on Web. It's just coming to stock at Beer on Web. It's like anyone in the UK, if you, you know, want to get old Belgian beers again, Beer on Web are delivering to the UK, um, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, so, the Seaf Brewery, and it's basically the independent brewery of Antwerp, believe it or not. And um, they built themselves up on crowdfunding, to be honest. Um, and they've been sort of going since sort of 2012. Um, so, you know, they're very much a, a, a very, very good um, brewery. Everything I've ever had from them has been good beer-wise. And so this is a sort of relatively new beer called Lucy. Apparently they, they, they brew this beer, um, a unique brewing process, um, which they actually use different types of tea in this beer. So this is going to be quite interesting. Um, this is a, it's a different concept to a strong blonde. So without further ado, let's get it into a glass and let's give it a review. I'm really looking forward to this one. Well, I think most of us do. Any new beers that come out on the market, I think I think we all look forward to them. That's looking fantastic. That is absolutely looking fantastic. Let's see if I can get this last knockings in. Which is the goodness, all the yeasty stuff at the bottom. So, let's get first impressions of this beer. So, first impressions it's cloudy, blonde. With a beautiful three finger white tight foam head. Really, really fruity. Bubble gummy sort of yeast there. It really, really does smell inviting. I'll just get the last knockings in before we drink it. There we go, look at that. There's a high level of carbonation there. Like I say, it's 8%. That looks fantastic. So, without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Oh my god. Whoa! Right, first thing it really hits me. This is a very, very hot, bitter beer. I was on the first sip, it's really, really bitter. It's fruity, it's bitter. There's a little bit of sort of sweet sugary notes sort of in the middle of the sip but it's really a, a real hoppy bitter back end of this as for the tea whether that, that, that that's that sweetness sort of in the middle i'm not a tea drinker i don't like tea i'm getting none on the aroma i'm definitely getting no no tea on the aroma, and I'm definitely not getting any tea in the taste. Oh. 
And I reckon that tea is that little sort of sweetness in the middle of the sip. It's really fruity, with a zesty, hoppy back end. It's a really, really refreshing beer. It's a big beer. Um, I actually think this might win awards in the strong blonde category. I could see that happening quite easily. Oh. Whether or not the tea is enhancing those fruity notes from the hops. You know, um, I reckon they use really, really noble, bold hops in this anyway, and yeah, I can, I can tell that. Um, it is a selection of blonde malts. It's, it's a gem of a beer. I really, really like this beer. It looks like I'll be ordering more of this when I um, place my next order with Philip because it is a cracking beer. And it weren't expensive, it was about, about two, two euros odd, you know, it wasn't, wasn't an expensive beer to buy. But it's a cracker. A lot of people will probably just walk past this beer probably won't try it, probably won't buy it, um, you've got to buy it, you've got to seriously buy this beer, this is, this is probably, like I was going to say, I reckon this could be the, the, um, the strong blonde of 2021, it's that good, it really is, What a beautiful, refreshing, fruity, zingy, bitter beer. It dries you out at the back end. Really sort of bitter and dry. and makes you want to go in for another sip. You know, this is a beer to have on a hot day. Sitting, um, sitting outside a bar on a square. Watching the world go by. Perfect. Perfect beer pleasurable experience drinking it um does life get any better i don't know does life get any better you know it's just the more i drink it the more i just like it It's a powerful beer, a powerful beer, lots of flavour. It's going to win awards, simple as. So look, get on the beer on web, secure yourself a bottle of this in your next order, right? Try it, see what you think, leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I can't remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.